what's up everybody welcome to sorry welcome to edix here so in this video i'm going to show you how you can do this glitch effects so this glitch effect is actually inspired from the candy climbers music video humble so i tweaked and played around with the masking and end up creating these two glitch effects so in this video i'm going to show you how you can do these three glitch effects i'll edit this in after effects you can do it in premiere pro or final cut pro any software that allows you to do masking you can do that you just need the basic idea how to do this so first of all camera setup so i'm using four cameras here so this one is mine and these three cameras are provided by my friends so huge thanks to them if you cannot arrange four cameras that is completely fine you can get three cameras or one camera or two smartphones anything so one thing you have to remember during shooting which is very important that all of your cameras and smartphones should cover the same area of the scene uh, so the field of view should be same for all the cameras so try to remember that so i used a bolt head to attach the canon one with the sony and i have only one bolt head so i used some thermocol to adjust the position of this nikon camera i tried to place the nikon camera at the same level of the canon so here is the four camera setup. Synchronizing your videos is very important. So you have to tell your character to clap in front of the camera for two or three times. So I'm using After Effects to edit this video. So After Effects doesn't have any auto synchronizing feature like Premiere Pro as far I know. So I'll synchronize these footages by looking at the waveforms. So I clap three times here. And there is three peak of the waveforms you can see. I will synchronize the footages just by looking at the waveforms and adjusting their positions. So now let's dive in the After Effects and see how to do this. Now we are inside After Effects. Now let's drag the footages on the timeline. So this is our first footage and I will use these three footage for glitch effects and the top footage is for the entire clip. So now let's synchronize this footages first so as i mentioned earlier i clapped three times for the waveforms so now let's click here at the audio and waveforms the waveforms will pop up it's taking a bit here is the waveforms and here you can see three steep peaks so these three are the three sounds of the claps now let's adjust their position and match them now hit plus on your keyboard and now let's match them accurately so these two are matched now minimize this one and expand this footage hit minus on your keyboard and audio waveforms it will take some time and here you can see three peaks of the clapping sound here again adjust their positions here and hit plus on your keyboard again and drag this to the right here we go yeah it's perfectly matched so all the four footages are now synchronized so i want the glitch effect from here so now let's select one file and hit Ctrl A for selecting all the files and then Ctrl Shift D for cutting all the files and holding Ctrl you can click those files and then delete and Ctrl All for selecting all the files and drag the footages at the start of the timeline. I want to track the face inside a square or rectangle now I added a photo of a rectangle here and changed it blending mode to the screen so hit S on your keyboard and scale it down and adjust according to your character's face so just drag it down a little bit little bit now we are good so I noticed one thing here that my second footage is little bit off balanced and so I decrease the opacity of the top layer and clicked here and change the rotation a little bit 
to match them as far these two lines are parallel I'm good so little bit 2.53 3 is good so 3 is good so it's parallel increase the opacity to 100 percent now we want to track our character's face inside this white rectangle so now hit p on your keyboard and click on the stopwatch and go few frames forward and adjust the position in the middle the face is inside this rectangle now we are good with the fast footage turn off the fast footage and let's go to the second footage adjust this position here hit p on your keyboard again and click on the stopwatch for keyframing and adjust the position here so we are good with the second footage now we are good so now in all the four footages the face is inside this white rectangle let's start cutting the footages so start from the fast footage keep pressing plus on your keyboard until you see one frame timeline so here is one frame timeline select this footage go one frame forward ctrl shift d go one frame forward select the second footage ctrl shift d go one frame forward third footage also ctrl shift d and drag and cut them so this is very simple just go one frame forward cut ctrl shift d one frame forward second footage ctrl shift d one frame forward third footage ctrl shift d cut cut until this one. So what we are basically doing here is every video is visible for one frame. So first video is visible for one frame, second video is visible for one frame, third video is visible for one frame and the fourth video is also visible for one frame. So every video is visible for one frame. Let's keep doing this until where the glitch effect ends. So now we are almost done cutting the footages now let's see the effect and roll your scroll wheel for scaling your composition and now let's disable this rectangular image and let's play it wow it's looking good so there is a problem you can see the edges of the different videos are visible hit ctrl all and and hit S on your keyboard and scale them up until it fills the edges little bit up now we are good now let's let's play this one hit space wow we are good we are good now let's If you have same question like him, just subscribe and hit the bell icon. So I'll upload a video how you can do the glow painting in After Effects. Just stay tuned for that. So for second glitch effect, you don't have to do a lot of things. Just go to a place where you want the second glitch effect to start and drag the uppermost layer. Hit on this rectangular tool to mask, the, mask it and just go like this this will mask out the face and it's looking good so here we are done with the second effect and for the third glitch effect just go here and let's make a cut on the top layer ctrl shift d and click here and make some random shapes so make any random shapes just go some frames forward and make another random frame and make and go few frames forward and let's make another random shape like this go few frames forward make another random sorry 
just make random shapes like this keep doing this until this point So now let's play this. Wow, it's looking good. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. So I will upload more film making and photography contents on this channel. So subscribe and hit the bell icon for that. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, stay creative. Peace.